Hello, Scorpio. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your bonus reading for the first half of May. General reading as always, guys. It's not going to resonate with every single person. So please do take from this what makes sense for you. Let the rest go. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box. And I will have a link to all of the card decks that are used for this reading, Scorpio. We're going to be following along the same lines of my mind, body, and soul reading that I recently did for the focus messages. So that's what these three card decks are here for. So we're going to grab some insight for the mind portion of the focus messages from this deck. This is the Pining Rose Love Oracle deck. No, it's not. <laughs> this is the 5D Love Messages Oracle Deck Volume 2. I'm getting my decks all mixed up. This is by Calico Moon. And then we'll grab a card from the Twin Flames Astral Intimacy Oracle Deck by Angelic Revelation 144. And our last card, tapping into the soul portion of the focus messages, is the Whispers of Love. So let's get right into it, Scorpio. Let's take a look and see what your focus messages are this time around. All right, guys, let's take a look. Volume 2 of the 5D Love Messages, Oracle Deck by Calico Moon. Let's take a look at that. Okay, Angels and Spirit Guides. For Scorpio, Cross Watchers, and anyone else who has been guided to tune in, what is your first focus message tapped into the mind, either for yourself or your person? I feel like something is about to happen between us. Do you feel that way too? And that certainly is a, is a question that only you can ultimately answer, Scorpio. But if you guys are both on the same page, you guys thinking about each other and feeling like there's something that's going to be happening, happening, if I can speak today, happening between the two of you. Maybe you guys are on the same wavelength here. So let's add to that. What's with the body portion? of this reading, focusing on the body, the intimacy, the physical connection between you and your person, Scorpio. So we've got the mind. Let's grab a message for the body. Sensual lovemaking. Okay, I feel like something's about to happen between us. Do you feel that way too? It could be this having that opportunity to reconnect and to make love and to just have those special intimate moments with each other once again. And perhaps that's something that you haven't had with this person in a very long time. If there have been separations or distance between the two of you. Okay. So we've got the mind, we've got the body. Let's tap into the soul with the whispers of love angels and spirit guides for Scorpio, please for this bonus reading. For whoever needs this, focusing on the energies for Scorpio for the first half of May for this bonus reading, Angels and Spirit Guides. And there we are. Consider your foundation, Scorpio. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love when it comes to this connection, this person. So we'll analyze that for this reading and see how strong a foundation you actually have with each other. Let's start with the Illumination deck by Lightworker Tarot and Oracle to give us some added clarity here and some insight on this situation for you. Angels and Spirit Guides for Scorpio for this bonus reading, first half of May. roots, family, history. Now you and this person could certainly have a family together. It could also be blended families. We have spend some time together. What I'm picking up here so far, Scorpio, is they're already intuitive, intuitively picking up that something big is supposed to happen or going to happen between the two of you. That's what they're instinctively feeling. They're also thinking about the intimate moments, the physical connection that the two of you have shared. And if you're not together, if you guys are going through issues right now, 
what they're ultimately wanting is to take things back to simpler times when you guys were together, when you could just spend some quality time together. You guys might have lived together. You might have shared a home together, especially if there were children, if you have children together or have blended families, as I stated. And this is a time for you to really go within Scorpio and figure it out for yourself. You know, you are being asked by this through this reading and by the angels to take a look at your level of commitment towards this person. And they need to do the same. You know, it takes two people to create a successful relationship. We have life partner. Look at that. Spend some time together with your life partner. Wow. It says embrace change. So what I'm feeling here, in addition to everything that's already come through, there are changes that need to happen in how you interact and in how you communicate and how you have your conversations with each other. They have to be productive. They have to get to the root cause of the problem. Going back to these roots. And if you can manage to create these changes to help this connection, to help this relationship in however way it needs it, then there might just be something really special that happens between the two of you. Now, this next card, we do have Christmas, which is, of course, towards the latter half of this year. It's quite a ways from now. We haven't even gotten to summer yet. <laughs> now, something of significance could have certainly happened between you and your person during the holiday season, during Christmas specifically. But this is giving you a time frame here for later on in the year on when things might ultimately start moving towards a reconnection, being able to work through whatever issues you guys are dealing with at this time. And look at this next card. We do have distance and world travel. So during the holidays, you guys might be thinking of taking a trip together. And then we have this card, receive a message. They're thinking about reaching out to you, Scorpio. So yes, I do feel that there are some issues going on here between the two of you, but I so far am feeling that it's nothing that can't be fixed. But we'll have to take a look and see what the the rest of the reading brings forward. So let's add some additional insight from the Pining Rose Love Oracle by Calico Moon. Angels and Spirit Guides for Scorpio. Please bring it forward for this bonus reading for whoever needs it. Let's see what else needs to come through here. What are the challenges? What's going on? dancing through my dreams so Scorpio they're still tapped into you energetically especially in the fifth dimension they might even still be dreaming about you you guys might even enjoy dancing if that resonates they might have even dreamt of this sensual love making between the two of you we also have self love coming through here so what the angels are communicating to you at this time, Scorpio, is that you got, to, you have to, I can't speak, you have to work on loving yourself first. Work on you during this time of distance and separation from your person. Make yourself a priority for a change. In order to be able to have this quality time with your person, spend some time together, you have to be able to spend time with yourself and really figure things out. And part of what it is you need to figure out, as this card states, you're being asked to look at how committed you are to love. And if you're really ready to give your all to this connection to this person, then it's the right time. Until then, it's time to focus on you. Now, take a look at this. We've got the Twin Flame card coming through and it's falling right below Life Partner. Do you see that? So the person that you're focused on for this reading, Scorpio, 
may very well be not only your life partner, but your twin flame, your true energetic counterpart in this lifetime, that mirror soul. Look at this next card. We have reach out. We already know they want to. Okay, receiving a message is what's on its way to you. However way that message presents itself, either through a text, a phone call, an email, it might fall during the holiday season. They might send you a gift and there's a card in there. We have seduced coming through also. I mean, we already know that they definitely still desire you sexually. They're still very much focused on that when it comes to the physical connection. This might happen again during the holiday season. And of course, we all know what a secret admirer is, but my interpretation of that here is that the person that you're focused on for this reading, they're not fully disclosing what's going on in their heart space. So for now, they're keeping that kind of buried in their heart space and might be keeping it a secret, but the admiration that they have for you as a person, it's definitely still there. And of course, the added interpretation of that card is what we all know a secret admirer to be. There might be somebody else out there that you might not even be aware of who's actually interested in you. And clearly, you guys are not together right now. The separation card is coming through here. So with a Twin Flame card presenting itself, let's go ahead and grab some tarot from the Twin Flame Journey Tarot by Mystic Moon. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Scorpio. For this bonus reading, for whoever needs it right now, for the first half of May. What else? We have the Three of Wands, which is fire. Okay. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is all about awaiting results right here. With the Three of Wands, it's looking ahead. It's all about expansion and rapid growth. It's preparation. Preparing for when things ultimately come back together between the two of you. And if you guys have actually put something into motion, maybe your person's just waiting for things to come to fruition, or you both are. We do have the Five of Wands coming forward, which is more fire energy, conflict, and competition. So part of the issue here that might have brought you guys into separation could have been outside interference from another person. If there was competition for your heart space, for your love, Scorpio, or the other way around, and that definitely created some sort of conflict and tension here in the situation because there are definitely disagreements and arguments that happened here as a result of whatever this competition is. And yes, it could, of, of course, be a third party situation for some of you. We do have the King of Swords coming through here, which is Air Energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This King, quick wit and intellect is what he's all about. So for some of my feminines, your masculine might be this king of swords who is your twin flame and life partner or was or wants to be again. We do have the strength card, which is Leo energy. The strength card is all about tolerance and our character compassion, our inner strength, our willpower, our courage to overcome things that are very difficult or not easy to get through. It's also picking up off of emotional attachments to the past. And if the past includes this person, your twin flame, perhaps that's why you've been unable to move forward because you're still feeling so drawn to them, understandably so, especially if this is a true twin flame connection. And strength comes in many forms, physical strength, certainly, but emotional, spiritual, mental strength as well.
And if it's you that wants to reach out, Scorpio, maybe you're just not feeling as strong or as confident to be able to reach out to your person. But this can actually still work itself out. Because there's pretty positive energies attached to the strength card here. We have the Six of Swords, so we have more air energy coming through here. Tran tranquility ahead. I don't know why I keep getting, getting tongue-tied in this reading. Maybe you guys are having some issues in communication. <laughs> tranquility ahead. So the road, road ahead looks pretty smooth. It looks calm. It looks peaceful. And whatever drove you guys into separation was anything but peaceful and tranquil. And this is more than likely why. Because of this tower moment. Because of this tower moment, I feel the desire to simply go into separation and just create this distance between the two of you. This is what contributed to that because it's painful energy. It's unexpected. It's often traumatic. But because of this six of swords right next to it, this is letting us know that you will overcome this or you are in the process of getting past that tower moment. There's definitely grief, a grieving process, though, over a relationship that went into separation. It's not easy at all. But it does give you the opportunity, Scorpio, to rebuild on a stronger foundation for you and your person. This is something, of course, that both of you need to do because you can't do that all on your own. They have to want it as much as you. So there will come a time where you're going to have to take action to make that happen. Your person has to be able to meet you halfway too. And yes, absolutely, there are lessons that are attached to that tower moment because it's wanting you to learn from whatever mistakes, past mistakes you have made, as well as your person, whoever it is you're focused on. It can indicate financial issues, struggles, conflict, separation, certainly, which is already here, divorce for some of you. We've got another king coming in here. So we have two kings, a king of swords and the king of cups, which might be where that competition is coming forward from. So my feminines might have had more than one option in love and romance, which is what created the arguments and the disagreements and the conflict and the tension because there was competition here. But I feel, again, with this tranquility ahead energy of the Six of Swords and having overcome that tower moment, you guys can get past this. And I'm happy to see this with the Three of Pentacles collaboration. So for this to make it, for this to progress to the next phase of your connection, you have to both work as a team to collaborate, to work together, to rebuild the partnership. Okay? So let's add to this with the Romance Angels. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Scorpio. In Love and Romance for this bonus reading. What else, please? What else do we need to know here? We have Make the Effort, absolutely. Here we are with children. Some of you guys have children together. We do have family history right there. Your love life is being affected by children. Make the effort, absolutely, in order to get things moving in the right direction. Effort is definitely needed here to be able to create progress and movement to get you guys out of the path of this tower. Look at this. Soulmate. This is your soulmate, Scorpio. So not only do we have twin flame, we also have soulmate coming through here. However way you identify your connection, or you might not even know, both possibilities are here. Look at these next two cards. We have Wedding, followed by True Love. 
So this can be interpreted to mean that some of you guys were already married. Your marriage went through a very rocky period. Some of you guys may have even decided to get divorced or you're in the process of divorce, but are wanting to reconcile, wanting to come back together. Or some of you guys might just want to go your own separate way. You know, it's totally up to you, but you've got some options here, Scorpio. And of course, this could be future energies too. To be able to live your life and find happiness with your true love, either your twin flame or your soulmate. If you guys can work together, you can make this work. Totally make it work. So Scorpio, let's go ahead and grab some dialogue messages here. I'm guided to pull from my Divine Love and Separation deck by Fire Witch Tarot. Take from these what makes sense for you. This could either be from you, this could either be from your person, or a combination of both. Take what resonates as always. So let's see what it is that you guys need to say to each other at this time. Angels and Spirit Guides for Scorpio. What needs to be expressed here? Lots. <laughs> There's a lot that needs to be expressed here. Okay, what have we got? All right, guys, first one. I try to reach out, but I end up getting panic attacks. So reach out, receiving the message. They, I feel they've picked up their phone a billion times and went through the motions of wanting to send the text or dialing your number whatever it is they've thought about it they've gone as far as almost sending that message to you and they stop themselves they go into a panic so your person might just need a little bit more time to get over their nerves or fear as to what would actually happen if they did reach out because i feel for some of you maybe you're not ready to hear from them anyway and they're energetically picking up off of that but there will come a time when that message will be received. Next message. There's so much for us to experience. Please don't waste it on being upset with me. And I'm sure part of the reason why you guys went through these challenges is because of disagreements, arguments, that you were upset with them, they were upset with you. And they're coming through here, Scorpio, letting you know there's so much more to life that we could do together. Please don't be upset with me. Let's just figure this out already. Next message. I read our text messages for comfort. I'm telling you. I think they're on their phone practically 24-7, just reading through old texts, wanting to call you. And there will come a day when it'll actually go through. Just wait for it. Reassurance, you will always have a place in my heart. And maybe you really needed to hear this, Scorpio. Next message. Confused. I'm trying to make sense of all this. So this is coming through for some of you who just really need clarity, who need a little bit more time to figure things out. Last one. Let's stop throwing the blame back and forth and make amends. Yeah. So your person really wants to make amends. They, you know, they understand they're not perfect. They've done wrong. You both have possibly, but they really want to be able to fix this situation with you, Scorpio. You know, and if you're willing to do the same, then take advantage of this three of pentacles and collaborate. Work as a team. All right, Lover's Oracle time. Let's go ahead and grab some insight from this deck. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Scorpio for this bonus reading. For whoever needs it. For the first half of May. What do we have? Let me grab this unbelievable, this next card. Some of you guys have a secret admirer because that's the second time that this is coming through, you see? Secret admirer coming through twice. There's somebody out there that's interested in you and they're not telling you. Not yet. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. 
And then this one wanted to come through. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Absolutely. So also around Thanksgiving time of this year might be very special for you. So Thanksgiving, Christmas time, the holidays might be very special for you and this person. And going back towards this very first focus message tapped into the mind. I feel like something's about to happen between us. Do you feel that way too? And it might happen during the holidays. That's what I'm picking up here. Okay, so let's grab some overall energies for this connection, Scorpio. This is the Love Compass Oracle by Luna Tide Love. We will grab three from this deck. Take what resonates when it comes to your situation. Overall energies for your connection. Angels and spirit guides, please bring it forward. We have optimism and acceptance. Let's grab two more. Angels and spirit guides for Scorpio. Overall energy, beautiful. Soul to soul connection and bottom of the deck is embrace love. Okay, so very first message, Scorpio optimism and acceptance get into a place of acceptance and gratitude for all that is in your life see the situation in a brand new light trust your path as it unfolds and let go into the moment think big and think positive to manifest the love and relationships you desire okay so definitely see things from a place of optimism it's going to help you bring in positive vibes and energies into your life which in turn will manifest into things that you're wanting to come to fruition in your love life, certainly, but other areas of your life too. We have soul to soul connection. I'm not surprised. We have twin flame and we've got soulmate coming through in this reading. You are manifesting a soul to soul relationship. You are connecting to the soul of another. This could be the balancing of your masculine and feminine energy. You are connecting at a deeper level. Beautiful. And last one, embrace love, make space for another and accept the connection for what it is. Embrace the new opportunities and blessings around you. Open your heart to accept and receive more love through embracing vulnerability. You will find strength. I mean, these are all pretty great. So whichever one of those you're more, you're most guided towards as the overall energy for your connection, take from it, whatever makes sense for you and your situation so let's grab some insight from the journey of love deck by divine essentials angels and spirit guides for a scorpio we'll grab three from here as well all right guided to this one here number eight is all about protection i just want to keep you safe and warm First of all, they want to be with you and they want to be able to protect you, certainly with what's going on throughout the world, you know, just self-isolating and social distancing. They would feel safer just being with you, keeping you safe, keeping you warm at night, you know, the sensual lovemaking, the intimacy. Next one, forgiveness. Number 23, please forgive me if any of these numbers play a significant role. Forgiveness, please forgive me. I'm not surprised to see that because something painful happened here between you and this person, Scorpio. So they want forgiveness. Next one. Number 42, I can't stop thinking about you touching me. Fantasies sensual love making it's very much a part of their thoughts still scorpio so for now if you guys are not together those fantasies might be in the fifth dimension that's where you guys are connecting for now but this person ultimately wants to make this a reality they want to be able to hold you and touch you and make love to you for real they don't want to just be fantasizing about it all the time they want this to be a reality all right, so let's close this out. 
Let's go ahead and grab some messages from the guardian angels. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio for this bonus reading. Please bring forward the messages that need to come through at this time. Let me grab this bottom card right here. We've got prayer and positive change. Dear guardian angel, to you I pray. When I'm fearful, help me remember that only love is real. When I'm lost, help me find my way. When I'm confused, help me to regain clarity. When I feel lonely, help me feel your loving presence. Where I perceive chaos, help me to see the order. Thank you. Okay, so beautiful prayer. Blessing this reading, Scorpio. And lastly, we have a positive change. Dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. So embrace these changes because these changes is what's going to move you and your person and your life to the next direction, the next chapter of where you guys are meant to go. And it looks quite promising here. It looks a lot smoother moving forward than where you guys have been since clearly you have experienced a tower moment. It was painful, brought you guys into separation and there was competition here that's tied into third parties, more than likely outside interference in your relationship. But they ultimately do want to come back. They want forgiveness. They want to apologize for what's happened. They can't stop thinking about you and fantasizing about you. And if you feel the same, Scorpio, then you guys can manifest this for real. You know, it's not just a fantasy anymore. All right, so let's grab some healing messages, some final thoughts. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Scorpio to close out this reading and tie up, wrap everything up. Healing messages for my Scorpios, please. We have truth and integrity, okay? You always want to come from a place of truth. And if you've been dealing with somebody that was being dishonest or deceptive in any way, this is what you're wanting moving forward is the truth. To be able to maintain yours and their integrity in all this, you have to just be able to sit down and face each other in the 3D, be honest, and just be able to come forward with the truth. Because once the truth comes out, you know how to deal with whatever challenges you guys had going on to begin with. What else, please? Oh, there we go. We've got an answered prayer coming through here. So for those of you who have turned to prayer, just know that they have been heard. Scorpio, those prayers have been heard and they will be answered. Not just in regard to your love life, any area of your life. It could be regarding your health. It could be about family, a job, your money matters, whatever has been challenging you and you've been praying about it. Those prayers have been heard and they will be answered. So have a little bit of patience for the signs that you need in order to know in your heart of hearts that your prayers are on their way. They're being answered. Beautiful. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you this time around. I do hope whatever part of this reading resonated with you, that it offered you the clarity that you needed at this time. And if you are interested in your own private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box. And I'll be back real soon, guys, with more readings for you. So stay tuned. See you guys real soon. Bye-bye.